you got the pursuit coming from the inside, so that's why you got to get back out there sometimes. And this just shows us how fluid your hips are in being able to make those cuts that we need you to make in the, on the football field. Okay, here's Barkley. That looks like him against Iowa right Look there. Look at the low center of gravity oh, that he naturally <laughs> runs with, guys. Right. I mean, that's excellent. Wow. Just Chubb. Chubb. Now, Chubb is a tough north-south guy. He's not quite as quick laterally as Michelle, right, LT? Absolutely. You know, a little bit tight in the hips, but, you know, he's a bowling ball, and yeah. that's what you're going to get from him when, when, he, when you draft him, but he's not going to give you much laterally. Coleman. Not going to run fast, but Coleman's quick. Same with Crawford. Kind of a leggy guy. Drop those hips. Okay, Sedman's from Fordham. Was looking forward to seeing him in the East-West game, and he was hurt and couldn't go, but you can see some quick feet there. And a smaller runner, so he needs to have those quick feet. Exactly right. to some of the big guys here. It's a fullback. Which is not not bad for a big man, that guy. Darby on Franklin. Also kind of like when I see their eyes up instead of down at the cone. LT. Absolutely. Now, this is one guy, Ross Freeman out of Oregon, but you would expect him to be faster and quicker. But again, he's 200 and almost 230 pounds. Correct. So not bad. Same thing with Geis. Yep. I don't look at Geis as a uh, guy that's going to make you miss. He's more of a, you know, a bowling ball. Obviously, yesterday he said uh, favorite runner was Marshawn Lynch, so it gives you an exactly. idea of his mindset. Exactly. Good point. Kyle Hicks, that's quicker than fast right there to answer Rich Eisen. And here's Hines. Now, you can always tell when a guy's a pump returner, kick returner. Look how quick he is. This is he set drill up. Go, 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 go. All the way. Come on. This is a guy, carry on, that I love on, on tape. Had a big year for Auburn. Um, I don't believe he ran the 40, guys. He did not. But just looking at him out here, has pretty good feet. He, he's a leggy guy, a leggy runner. He, he bounces everything. I like when he he's a, and I, when I say bounces it, that's not a negative because he's a tough kid. But I'd like to see him keep more things north and south. He's trying to break the long one all the time. And it goes back to what we were talking right. about earlier, taking four yards, not trying to make everything a home run. And there's Michelle. Penny. Uh, a little choppy split, there. Did he break some of those cones there? Yeah, he did. Kind of but a little choppy too, guys. He wasn't getting to the cone. Well, I'll tell you what's interesting is that you can tell a kick returner versus a punt returner, right? Yeah. The kick returner are the long striders. They build up speed, right? The yeah. punt returners are the small, short, quick guys. And Penny's a kickoff returner, so he's going to struggle a little bit. Yeah. Down the Another long, leggy guy right here. It wasn't bad for him. No. Dropped his hips every time he made the turn. Mm -hmm. huh? Rock Thomas. Needs to have a good combine. 
Chris Warren from Texas. Mike, well, you remember his dad. I do. Yeah. I do. He's a beast. Jordan Wilkins from Ole Miss had a good game against Alabama. Another one of those guys, he, lateral stuff. He's got to finish more physically.